Now, because someone put this tape in your hands, you are an important part of a youth ministry team. Your personal health and teamwork approach will make a significant contribution to the long-term health of your youth ministry team. Youth ministry works best when leaders like yourself express their gifts and passion in the context of a team. As a matter of fact, when you play as a team, everyone achieves more. And in order to achieve more and develop health, I want to discuss briefly three commitments that you and I must make if we're going to become team players. Number one is this. A team player commits to the purpose of youth ministry. This is very important. It's a very important commitment that must be made for health to appear. A team player commits to the purpose and direction of the ministry. We don't need to have churches full of leaders fighting one another. Fighting doesn't help a team. Fighting destroys a team. Let me ask you two rhetorical questions. One is, are you committed to the direction of the youth ministry? And another question might be, Do you know the express purpose of the youth ministry? Now, you may be asking yourself, why are these questions important? Why is it important that I be committed to the direction of the youth ministry? And why is it important that I know the express purpose of the youth ministry? Well, if you don't commit to the common purpose, you'll have your personal agenda rise to the top of your wish list. These personal agendas will become selfish, and they will often create conflict and can become divisive in the youth ministry. Now, if you're part of a youth ministry and you don't know its purpose, you either need to ask or you should help the point person of the ministry define the youth ministry's purpose. As you help define, you do so with grace and love and a tenderness to the past, keeping in mind the feelings of others, but moving your youth ministry toward one that is driven by biblical purpose. It's my prayer that all youth ministries are committed to expressing the five biblical purposes of evangelism, worship, fellowship, discipleship, and ministry. That's a purpose-driven youth ministry. Once you find out the purposes of the ministry, you should stack hands with the other leaders of the ministry and commit to fulfill them as a team. That's teamwork. Now, you may emphasize a different role within the defined purpose of your ministry, and that's fine. For example, not everyone has to be passionate about all five purposes, but they should be passionate about fulfilling all five. You may not be skilled in evangelism. You may be more skilled in discipleship, and that's great. But you work as a team when you express your passion and skills, and it doesn't exclude the passion and skills of others. Another example. If we are purpose-driven and committed to expressing the five biblical purposes of evangelism, worship, fellowship, discipleship, and ministry, then people can operate in areas of their passion, and we stack hands on fulfilling all five biblical purposes, even if I only have enough time to focus on one. That's teamwork. I encourage youth pastors to have their potential leaders listen to this tape before they ever begin working in the youth ministry to make sure these potential leaders understand the importance of their commitment to a team. Again, we don't have time to fight one another. Our fighting time needs to be reserved for the enemy. In 1 Corinthians 1, verse 10, the Apostle Paul challenges us. He says, let there be real harmony among you so there won't be any division in the church. I plead with you, he says, to be of one mind, united in thought and purpose. You see, teamwork brings harmony. The second sign of teamwork is when you make a commitment to the leader of the youth ministry. Now, you might be thinking, oh, that's why he or she, whoever your leader is, gave me this tape, so I might be more committed to him or her. No, you were given this tape because the leader of your ministry is wise and knows that a healthy youth ministry requires teamwork, and teamwork requires leadership, and leadership requires committed followers. That's a team, and this point is too important to leave off. When I was part of a sports team, I followed the direction of the coach. I submitted to his leadership, direction, and coaching. I didn't agree with everything he did, but I listened and followed his lead. I had to learn my role. My role was I was the player, 
I was the player and not the coach. 